Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from the book of John today. John 6 and starting with verse 64. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and art sure that thou art the Christ or that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Of course, Jesus then uh, says, Have I not chosen you, twelve, and one of you is a devil, knowing that Judas was going to betray him. In the book of Luke, in chapter 8, I believe it is, Jesus um, says, Who do men say that I am? And uh, some say Elias, and some say uh, John the Baptist, and Jesus says, but who do you say I am? Peter said, Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus, of course, lets him know that without the Holy Spirit revealing that to him, it would not have been known of him. We just read there in chapter 6 of John that Jesus says, without the Father drawing them, they could not come. So, it isn't just all of a sudden we wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to go to church and get saved, but but it is that the Lord draws us, and he loves us. He draws us to him, and he opens our eyes. So so we only exist. The way I look at it, the scripture says we're dead in sins and trespasses before we're saved. We only exist, but life comes, and that more abundantly, when we have that relationship with Christ. So if that's the beginning of our story, then it starts, as this song says, and I've sang this, um, I can't tell you how many times on here that I've sang this, Once Upon a Hill, that's where our story starts. And when Jesus said, it's finished, another song we sing sometimes says, it was just the beginning for me. So my life story started Once Upon a Hill. We should understand that uh, we think of the question where were we born when were we born we celebrate birthdays and uh, the time that we came into this world no matter where it was we were born we're going to leave but once we're born again we'll never die again and so this songwriter surmises that it was once upon a hill where his life began. Somebody wrote my life story The ink never touched the writer's quill Now I'll live happy ever after Cause my life story started Once upon him Once upon a hill Is all it took From my heart's been changed My life's an open book It's never been a mystery How the fiction became real My life story started Once upon I've never laid eyes 
upon the altar. But it's clear to see he's laid his hands on me. My life story may not be the world's bestseller, but they won't have to read between the lines to see. Once upon a hill is all little from hidden shame. My heart's been changed. My life's an open book. It's never been a mystery how the fiction became real. My life story started once upon a My life story started once upon a Lord, we're thankful. So thankful for everything you do for us, Lord, and everything you've done for us and everything you are without you. Uh, not only could we not live, we would never be, we would never be saved. We would never be redeemed. And so we're thankful for that. God, I pray that you would bless those that watch this today. Give them a special touch. You know, those that are sick, you know, those that uh, maybe have uh, financial struggles or mental struggles, whatever it is, Lord, whoever this video finds today, God, I pray that it will find them well. But if it does not, God, I pray that you would bless them and encourage them and strengthen them today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.